Alright, hi everyone. In this particular video, we are going to be discussing on how to solve radioactive decay uh, questions and problems. So let's go into the question straight away. Alright, as you can see over here, let me uh, adjust my pen first. Okay, so I have my highlighter here. Alright, so a uranium-238 emits out an alpha particle and decays into a thorium atom. State the nuclear number and proton number of the thorium, uh, the, of the thorium, the isotope form. Write an equation for this particular decay. So let's start. Okay, so over here it says that a uranium-238 emits out an alpha particle. So alpha for two. So I'm gonna write there uranium. 8 and then proton number 92 so I'm going to put an arrow over here all right because uh, radioactive decay doesn't have any other uh, two or three parent nuclei all right there's only one element for the before reaction so after reaction then it will decay out with a daughter nuclei and also an additional uh, radioactive decay so in this particular case it's going to be uranium 23892 all right so this is where i'm going to write thorium so thorium is th all right and then plus an alpha particle alpha particle is alpha 42 now so we have to find out what is the nuclear number and also what's the proton number over here now in chemistry you will have to balance the mole number so in physics for radioactive decay we are going to be balancing the nuclear number and the proton number so how are we going to do that i'm going to write using a green color pen okay so just to show uh, some of the students how to do that so for the nuclear number or the atomic number Alright, so we have uh, atomic number before the reaction has to be the same as the atomic number after the reaction. So before reaction, we have 2, 3, 8. Okay, so let's just say thorium, this is A and this is Z. So equals to A plus 4. Alright, so thorium's nuclear number would be 2, 3, 8 minus 4 that would be 234 so that is the nuclear number for thorium and then the next one is actually to balance the proton number so before reaction so I'm gonna write here proton number all right so before reaction we have 92 after reaction we have Z plus alpha's proton number which is 2 so plus 2 so in this particular case, Z would be 92 minus 2, I will get 90. So the nuclear number for thorium will be 234, and then the proton number will actually be 90. So I'm going to take a erase it here, and I'm going to erase this off. And my answer would be 234. So this is the equation for this alpha decay. Now some students will be asking, do I have to write alpha or can I write helium for 2? Yes, you can actually write it as helium for 2 or alpha for 2. So the other equation would be 23892 becomes thorium 23490 plus helium or 2 so this is the other equation either one of this is correct because alpha or helium it's still the same it's alpha decay all right so that would be the first part now the second part over here says to complete this particular equation so let's go into that particular equation right now now i'm gonna use another color the red color uh, pen so over here we're gonna balance the nuclear number first before reaction is 210 and then it becomes uh, bi and then here we have electrons so electrons nuclear number is zero so obviously this one will be 210 as well okay so for plumbum this is 82 and then for electron is negative one so in order to balance the equation of negative one is to add a plus one over here so that would be 82 plus one that would be 83 then the proton number will be balanced 
before the decay is 82. After the decay is 83 minus 1, it will be 82 as well. So this is the first example. Now I'm going to go to the next example. Okay, in the next example here, strontium-90 decays become yttrium-90 by emitting out a radioactive particle. Write an equation for this decay. So it already gave us the, the element uh, way to write it. So let's go into the equation straight. Again, I'm going to adjust my pen. Okay, so before the decay is strontium-90-38. Right, this is a little bit not suitable. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, then the arrow to the right becomes yttrium 9039. So we know there's a radioactive particle. So let's look at this. This is before reaction, the nuclear number is 90, after reaction, also 90. So the particle will have a zero nuclear number. Okay, then for the proton number, before decay, it's 38. After decay, it's 39. So it's unbalanced. One is 38 and the other one is 39. So in order to balance the proton number, I have to have a negative 1 over here. So for a radioactive particle that have a 0 negative 1, it would be electron. Or you can write it as strontium 9038 becomes yttrium 90. 39 plus beta particle 0 negative 1 so the second part of the question is actually to ask what particle is emitted out during this particular decay so in this particular decay you can actually say electron is being emitted out or you can actually answer beta particle is being emitted out Alright, so that is how we answer this particular question. Now, one last question. Okay, now, this particular question says Torium-232 decays to Plumbum-208. Now, from Torium to become Plumbum, there is a lot of radioactive uh, decay happened already. Why do I know? Because in the radioactive decay series, most of the um, decay will actually stop at Plumbum. Alright, so plumbum is the most stable nucleus. So in this case, I know that there is going to be a lot of alpha and beta particles being emitted out already. Now, so you see, uh, as I follow, finish reading the question, it says by emitting alpha particles and beta particles, and it did emphasize the particles over there. Okay, so let's adjust the thickness of my pen. Now determine the number of alpha particles and beta particles being emitted out. So I'm going to write the decay equation here. Torium 232-90 It will decay, become Plumbum 208-82 Now, because this is a decay series, so I know there is helium particle or alpha particle being emitted out, so I'm going to write that alpha 42 and I'm going to put a bracket here and I'm going to label A. A represents the number of alpha particles being emitted out. Plus, electron, 0, negative 1. And then I'm going to put a bracket, and I'm going to label B here. B means the number of beta particles being emitted out. Okay, so I'm going to solve this particular question. By first, okay, the first part is to balance... the nuclear number okay. balance the nuclear number before the decay and after the decay so before the decay I got 2, 3, 2 that's before the decay equals to after decay plumbum has 2, 0, 8 plus alpha so A times 4 so that would be 4, A plus beta or electrons that will be b times zero so b multiplied by zero and we know this particular term goes to zero so that would be 232 two equals to 208 plus 4a so 4a 
I'm gonna shift 208 to the other side. So 232 minus 208. Let me grab my calculator. 232 minus 208. We will get 24. So 4A equals to 24. So A is 24 divided by 4 and I will have 6. So this actually means that... Okay, let me erase this off. This actually means that there are 6 alpha particles being emitted out. Alright, so we have 6 alpha particles already. Now let's go and try the question for beta particles. How many beta particles is being emitted out? So now we're going to be balancing the proton number in order to find out the number of beta particles being emitted out. Alright, so we have to first balance the proton number. So I'm going to write that. Balance proton number. Okay, before the decay, there is 90 proton number. After the decay, plumbum has 82. Plus with a 6 alpha particle, that would be 6 times 2. I will have 12. Alright, then plus with B number of uh, beta particle and beta particles proton number is negative 1 alright so that would be 90 equals to 82 plus 12 I have 94 minus by B because B multiplied by negative 1 it becomes negative B so I'm gonna rearrange this equation I will have B equals to 94 minus 90 so B equivalent to 4 so this actually means that the number of beta particle is being released is actually 4. Alright, so this is actually how we solve a radioactive decay equation. So I hope that the rest of you would be able to solve the question, uh, uh, the rest of the radioactive decay equation now. So that's all for my video. Bye everyone.